Hey guys, my name is Tommy Cowalder. I'm a grassroots American racing driver from Scranton, Pennsylvania, currently racing in the North American F1000 Championship. Not having the funding for karting, I started racing in 2016 with simulators, working as often as possible after school and on the weekends and any job I can find to fund the beginnings of my racing career. From the early stages, I've had a fight for a career in motorsport, but I have high aspirations of winning races and championships in as many different disciplines of motorsport as I can. Through this vlog series, I'll bring you guys along for the ride from this year in the F1000 championship to the future as I rise to the ranks of motorsport. All right, round five of the North American F1000 championship. I'm here at Autobahn in Chicago. First time in Chicago, first time this far west, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've been to Road America before. I'm not sure which one's more west. I'm pretty sure this one is. I'm an idiot when it comes to the difference between Illinois and uh, Wisconsin, so I genuinely have zero clue. Um, yeah, so I'm here uh, unfortunately practice yesterday got totally rained out so I did not get any laps under my belt yesterday so today I have one practice session before qualifying so I'm going to use that session to learn the track and how the car feels do some setup changes everything like that so yeah I'll check in with you guys after qualifying um, should be fun I'm very excited after Pittsburgh um, you know I came close to winning in Pittsburgh so I'm super excited to fight for it again this uh, today see ya all right, qualifying. We're going through a corner here, and you can see the front left tire kind of shaking around like that. It's not supposed to do that. I can assure you that is not what a tire is supposed to do when you go through a corner. I could sort of feel that in the tire. I wasn't really looking at it at that point, and when I turn in here, I can tell I'm adding way more steering angle, and I'm like, all right, I'm just coming to the pit. Something's broken on the front. I think it's the front left. When I turn the steering wheel more than this, it's and I can't turn. Jerry fucking broke it last time. No. Oh, yeah. No, hang on. That's my point. This has got to come worse. up. All right, let me look. Let's go. I 
to get this up so we can get the other fucking yeah, wheel off. How are they been doing that? I don't know. This is bent now. I'll be back. With what? We don't have I don't a know. I was thinking the other See pool. if one of they have a quick jack. Fuck! God damn it! Fucking... Expecting words.
you're good. Um, you're lower. Here, I'll talk to you. What's the plan? Am I just going for yeah. it now, or yeah. should I do it? No, there. It's, just go for it. You've got one more. Do like your outlap. Like you're just trying to warm them up aggressively, and then lay down a couple fast ones. Um, if you got time to come in and bleed them, we'll do that still. But we need to at least get that banker out there real quick. All right. Okay. So, all right, yeah, let's get one in. If you get one down in the, in the at least the 20s, come in, we'll bleed, and then we'll go for 19s or 18s. Nathan's in the 19s right now on pole. Okay. So, and he's waiting. Okay. All right. Yep. Go for it. All right, so I'm back on track now. There's a bit of oil down in this hairpin here, and it really messed with me throughout qualifying. I don't quite have the experience of like exactly what to do through that corner. But nonetheless, um, this is my qualifying lap from qualifying one. I'll let it play through. one lined up in p3 here coming around the final corner to start the race left foot on the brake right foot on the throttle to get as much a good of a jump as i can a little straight line speed thing there nathan actually got a pretty damn good jump there and literally no dramas in a turn one like the least dramatic turn one for me they had a little bit more dramatic up ahead but at least for me the least dramatic turn one i have done all year Alright, so this is a couple laps into the race. My inexperience at this track and like very few practice laps and only a couple quality laps is really starting to show at this point. I mean, uh, I'm really struggling for pace. Coming through this corner though, Nathan is off on the left, so I think, alright, I get an opportunity to get up ahead of Nathan here. Um, so despite my inexperience at this track, I'm now running in second place, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm just thinking I just gotta keep Nathan behind me exactly what I don't do going into this corner. There's some debris, oil, water on the track up ahead here, just like there was in qualifying. I break early, Nathan goes right on by, full sends into it. He has a little bit more experience than I do, um, and there he goes. But, this is important, you can see there's actually water coming out of Nathan's car. The water that was down in that corner was actually off of Nathan's car. That's going to be incredibly important later on in this video, but for now we'll let this following lap play by as I chase down Nathan to try to get by him again.
final corner here, finishing P3. Not a horrible result at a track that I really did not get much experience at. Alright, race one done. Uh, lined up P3. Had a pretty uneventful start. I struggled with the cold tires and my knowledge of the track. Um, so I was quite slow from the beginning. Um, once the tires got up to temperature, I started to learn the track a little bit more. Started actually getting some pretty solid pace. Um, fought with Nathan a little bit. Ended up P3 in the race. Me and him went side by side a couple times. Um, and I just traded lap times with him pretty much the whole time. Finished about five seconds off of him. Not ideal. I know I can do better, but I don't have a ton of track time with this track. And it's just so difficult to just hop into a race when you did one practice session and then half a qualifying and then all right go for it um yeah so we got qualifying two here pretty soon um yeah looking forward to it gonna try to do my best i have a lot more knowledge of the track so i'm hoping i can do a pretty strong finishing position here um i'll check in with you guys then all right so lined up for race two here starting in second no nathan that water issue actually destroyed his engine so he's not running um but you will also notice that riley also has brand new tires. I don't know how they manage that, but they have brand new tires on for this race. A little bit of an uphill battle for me here. I actually get the better initial start, but he is flying by. Um, undramatic first turn, yet again. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is at this track, an undramatic first turn, sorry, but I'm going to let a few of these laps play out as I try to hunt down someone on brand new tires. So the safety car is actually about to come out here and that kind of screws my strategy because I was kind of betting on the idea that if he did not have a break-in period for his tires that he was just going to destroy them about halfway through the race. And now with the safety car he can just put around for a little bit and just have that advantage. So unfortunate but it is what it is. Alright, and here's the safety car restart coming around the final turn to get the green flag to start the race again. There's a couple more laps left in the race, and here we go. I get actually a pretty damn good start there again into his draft a little bit there, and we're going to have a very undramatic turn one yet again. 
I did break quite a bit later than him, but... Or it was probably mostly the accordion effect. He's a little bit wider in that corner than I am. I find that quite interesting. There's a lot of stuff spraying around off the tires and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to let a few of these laps play out as I try to hunt him down with his better tires.
starting to come around the final corner on the last lap here, finishing P2. I just could not quite chase him down and get past him. Uh, I matched his lap times a little bit, but could never go faster than him, so is what it is. And I just thought this was quite interesting. There's a little deer running across the track on the end lap there. Couldn't do it with those tires. Did they burn up? I was worried about that because it was so hot, but I had to be in New York telling you they're better. But yeah, yeah. Now with you just had, especially with that safety car. Yeah. Wow. If it wasn't for that safety car, maybe it would have been okay. Quali 2 and race 2 done, qualified second, almost, almost qualified on pole, two tenths off. I mean, going into the last minute of the session, I actually had pole position. Uh, it, Riley just went out in the last minute, was able to set a flying lap faster than me. It is what it is. I wanted to go for another lap. I know I had more time on my lap, but the engine started to cut out a little bit, so I had to cut my section short, unfortunately. So. Race two, started second. Riley went out on brand new tires and I was on the tires that I qualified on. So it was always gonna be an uphill battle for me. The only hope that I had was that if I could stick close to him and try to be as close as possible to him as I can be when his tires start to fall off. Because if you don't have a scrub in period or a nice easy couple first laps on the tires, they start to fall off very quickly when they're brand new. So I was hoping that I could stick as close as possible to him and about halfway through the race I would be able to close the gap to him and pass him and win. That was that was the whole plan. Unfortunately, the safety car came out and didn't end up running all of those laps. So, you know, after the safety car he just he was gone. Uh, I struggled a little bit after the safety car. I think it was a little bit of tire temperature as well as just how old my tires were and how much I was just beating them. Um, it is what it is. I know I had solid pace. I mean considering all of the things that went against me this weekend with track time and qualifying one being my second session on the track. It was quite difficult to go into the first race and just still be learning uh, how to drive the car at the track. And this is what it is. It was a great experience builder for me. Super happy with what I was able to do, especially comparing quality one to race two. Um, just gonna try to put it all together in some point, do the best that I can. Talk to you then.